Marseille have had a really strong start to the season. They topped the table with three wins in a row on the first three days of Ligue 1, with victories against Gancam, Evian and Valenciennes. Marseille are now second after the 2-1 defeat against table toppers Monaco, but they remain only one point behind, and Suleiman Diawara seems to be very confident in the strength of the team. We know what we're capable of. We know exactly what we're capable of. When we play as we do from the beginning of the season, we know that we don't really have to worry about anything much, even if occasionally we can concede some goal opportunities to our opponent. But nevertheless, when you play with the same spirit as we've had since the start of the season, you can be quite serene about it. The good start of the season has been helped by the summer transfers. The team kept many of its main players and recruited some of the best players in France, including Gianelli Mbula and Benjamin Mendy. Rivals PSG and Monaco preferred to recruit players from the bigger championships. Well, I think our um, recruitment over the summer have, has been very good with some clever choices in there. We signed uh, Benjamin Mendy, who's really stepping up. Uh, Ginelli Mbula, who's a real phenomenon. And, of course, Dimitri Payet. Everyone knows him because he's been one of the best players in Europe with regards to goals and assists. So I think our recruitment policy has been a really clever one over the summer. Stability and clever recruitment can give Marseille the possibility of challenging the two very rich clubs of Ligue 1. Monaco, who paid 60 million euros for Radamel Falcao, and their biggest rivals, Paris Saint-Germain, who recruited Edison Cavani for 64 million euros. When you look at the budget uh, at Paris Saint-Germain and at Monaco, and compared to the other clubs in Liga, you can imagine that the French league could end up looking like the Spanish Liga, with just two big clubs dominating the championships. But personally, it's not something that I'm too afraid of, I don't think. You know, we have other assets. I think that uh, Monaco and PSG are really very much based on the individuals and for the moment they haven't really found a collective way of playing. Maybe it'll happen soon, but for the moment that's not the case and I hope the other teams can take advantage of that. Marseille will be looking to challenge the table toppers by collecting three points against Toulouse on Saturday before they take on Arsenal in the Champions League on Wednesday. Last year's title winners Paris Saint-Germain will be looking for three points against Bordeaux on Friday. With two wins and two draws, they'll be hoping for a win to challenge title rival rivals Monaco. Claudio Ranieri's side are undefeated so far. They are in action on Sunday. San Etienne, Montpellier and Ajaccio are in action on, Sun on Saturday too.